Well, hey there, I am Arthur Morris, and one thing's for sure, after 40 years of making great bird pictures, I can teach you to be a better bird photographer. Right now, you could join me last mm, December, mid mid January, for the third Sandy Ibe. Right now, you could join me in mid-January for the third San Diego IPT. Photography's been amazing. Or very few spots left on the Homer IPTs. There are three from mid-February through early March. So we're going to look at the flight photography I've done uh, in December in San Diego. Here's a big group on a cloudy day, properly exposed. Look at the histogram all the way here, over to the right. And there's two ways I could make this a silhouette or a straight shot showing detail in the birds. We'll lose this bird, lose this bird with a crop on the frame edge. So we're starting with the 70 to 200 lens. You see the 2.8, and you can always pause the video to look at the EXIF. But these are all 70 to 200, 70 to 200 alone, low light going in the crevice between the uh, main cliffs and the sidewalk. And then down at the bottom of the hill, on Prospect Place, we have the cormorant nests, and I don't know what's making that noise, but maybe it'll stop. Anyway, this is where I became, where I fell in love with Sony, and it continues in Photo Mechanic, Command Z, incredible sharpness, difficult birds, coming in 100 miles an hour, one sharp after another. And if you don't believe me, we look at look at that. Just incredible. Finding the eye, the blue eye of a, a blackbird in the super contrasty conditions. There we go. Get some rocks in the background with the raised wings even closer. How good is Sony? Insanity. And again, 70 to 200 lens. Uh, fairly bright day at a 30. And look at all the histograms pushed to the right. And it's proper to overexpose some of the water to get the detail on the dark bird. We're still at 218 here. So now with the green tags, this is 200 to 600 lens at f6.3. And I might actually leave the second bird. And these are all these ones that say ARW are raw files. So another raw file, not the same bird. Possibly the same bird. Nope. And with the 200 to 600, you have lots of reach, and you can zoom in and out as needed. Now notice if the birds are close, and you zoom out here to 250 millimeters, and here the same one, 250 millimeters, that the ocean has lots of detail. Too much for me, but still beautiful pictures. And then this bird much closer. I'm not. I, this is. A raven, coastal race of raven. And this, you'll see this one says .tiff. This is a processed file. And 259 millimeters, 261 millimeters, and then backlit. Now remember, all these ARW images are unprocessed. They're the raw file. So they're not going to look that great when they're properly exposed to the right. And you see that one of my biggest problems is keeping the bird in the center of the frame. Yet zone autofocus, more recently I've been trying expand spot, tracking expand spot and tracking zone performs beautifully. There I'm getting a little greedy, zoomed out just enough to 286 millimeters and look at the nice even light and one little shadow under the wing. And when you get the bird up in the air, you're not going to have any of that ocean detail, even when you're zoomed out 286 millimeters, 293 zooming in a little, and incredible flight lens when it's sunny. Nice little series. I think I like this one a little bit better. I don't like this sort of scuzz in the water, but what are you going to do? You can do a little bit in post-processing. This is a nice even one. It's probably a three-year-old bird with the orange bill and then lots of leftover juvenile feathers, and the classic breaking pose still with the 200 to 600, so we see a little bit higher ISOs, 1250 here even in the sun, 
another one in the same series, and another one, pretty cool. This may do great to a vertical, and any of these birds along the bottom frame edge can easily leave with the patch tool or content to wear fill. Sort of side shot just before he turned away, still with the three, 200 to 600. Another beauty, another beauty. The accuracy of Sony autofocus is really insane. Just something I dreamed of for decades. I don't love this far uh, rock pile, but a beautiful pose. This one, I don't mind the horizon. And again, these are raw files. This will be leveled. We'll add some white sky at the top. And the young birds are gorgeous. And you'll notice everything exposed to the right with rare exception. Same series, young bird coming in. Same series, frame after frame. Crazy that I make thousands of sharp flight images a week and delete them because of various factors of too many shadows. Uh, early in the morning, I go to shutter priority. I use the 200 to 600 to do pleasing blurs. Here you see plus 2.3 compensation, perfectly exposed. And it's a great lens for the cormoran sleeving, 13th of a second handheld and, and pan blur that water. More guys landing, sunny 12. Notice to get the fast shutter speeds, I'm at ISO 1250, but with Topaz Denoise and the incredible A1 files, not a problem. And so many choices. You see two here, two keepers out of maybe a burst of 20, all sharp on the eye. This one needs a level. It's an, about a three or four year old bird. A little more of the right out, the lower left outcropping there off of La Jolla Point. Bad luck getting this one with the horizon going through them, coming right at us. Beautiful bird, 456, so the, the ocean's softening up a little. 493, notice the ocean, not as much detail as in previous. A beautiful breeding plumage bird. And now, those of you who follow the blog know that I bought the 4028 recently. I've been using it here. So in low to no light conditions, I can do what I call low light high SO flight. 2500, so you can go, well, what? it's exposed to the right, but it looks like crap. Yeah, but what you're not understanding, we beat it home often in the blog, is that this is the right exposure, and this is what the image looked like in real life, and this is the processed image. So when you see these really light washed out images, understand they're going to look beautiful. This one will be perfect. This is such a soft young bird. I'll probably leave this bird, get rid of this and these two out of focus birds down on the bottom, juvenile. And sometimes you can press the button when the birds fly in the wrong way and make a nice photograph. And here backlit against the sheer cliff and here front lit and this is, I believe, from the sidewalk, from the downhill sidewalk. And 400.28 ISO, 5,000, thousandth of a second. So this is super low light and able to make beautiful images and they'll process up beautifully. Another short series. No, I, I got rid of one of those. Here I love the angled wings and the tilt. So all these blue guys are the 400.28. You'll notice again, a thousandth of a second. I'm working on a tripod. The AF is so good that they'll be sharp. Here's another one, a thousandth of a second on a tripod and beautifully sharp. And there's a little series for you. Here's one of my bad underexposures. It still process up beautifully. And I don't know if I'll leave this bird or crop this to a square or even a vertical. And then if I do leave this bird, we got to get rid of that bird, which is a bit of a pain. Again, a thousandth of a second on the tripod. And here's a case where I'm going to be losing the Hermann's Gull and all of these guys very simply and very quickly. Beautiful poses on a white neck pre-breeding -bre pre bird. 
And this will give you an example of the process, processed image. This was hand holding the 4028, lose the bird, blew up the blues using color mixer and a very nice frame. Here's one where I was up on top of Coast Walk shooting down, get some birds high up. This is the original and the process image. And it's not so much that it's at 2.8, but that the bird is so close to me and so far from the Pacific below. This one is from the downhill sidewalk in low light. It's going to process up beautifully. Now the 4028 with the sun out, I'm still exposing to the right and they'll still look beautiful. This is a processed one. You see WTIF and just been the greatest year ever for pelicans and pelicans in flight especially. And having the Sony gear, this is the 4028 with the 14 at 560. So you notice the birds get close, you keep firing and it'll keep tracking the eye. Give me a break. I used to dream of this stuff with Canon and Nikon. Here's a soft light one. Love the pose above the waves. This is down south on the low cliffs. And there's the processed image. Looking a lot sweeter. And this one, just to show you, it looks like crap. It's washed out, but it's going to make a beautiful picture. When we go edit with Raw Digger, we see that only the water is exposed, not the bird, which will give me the maximum detail on the bird. And then I love trying for these guys with their feet hanging down. We'll see a few more of them. Now we're photographing with the 600. I'm on a tripod. I'm down to a 500th of a second to save ISO. ISO 5000 out of 1000. This one's going to be beautiful with a dark cyan aqua uh, ocean behind the bird. And again, that amazing tracking, uh, point blank, a thousandth of a second with the 600. This will process up beautifully. And then with that west-northwest wind, you can get the feet hanging down, landing, and then finally staying with them. One against the far cliff from the low sidewalk. And I think I finally processed one of these. Nope, I love this flat-on display. Have an option of leaving these birds. I'll probably crop this one to a pano. And white sky flight with the 600 alone at f4. Notice I never ever stop down. Every one of these images is wide open. And here's the one for sure that I processed. Give you an idea of the amazing image quality of Sony, probably 30% of the original pixels. 600 alone, this is from up on Coast Walk, looking down at the ocean. It's gonna process, beautiful two frame sequence. And in the morning, this is actually, I don't know if this is the 70 to 200, excuse me. I don't know if this is the 200 to 600 or the 600 alone. I suspect it's the 600 alone. I'm sorry, I suspect it's the 200 to 600 at f7.1. This should have been earlier in the program. And sometimes you're going to clip, clip, clip the wings and you'll get one frame where they fit and the bird keeps flying at you, filling the frame. You keep firing. Amazing stuff. And finally, one image made at 840. We tried for sunset and this is a cormorant. And I say, I will hope to see you either in San Diego in about a week or so, or grabbing one of the last spots in Homer. Be well. Have a great new year. Love you much. Cheers. Artie.